So once we have your, our staves or, or the planks yeah. um, aged or dried for two years, three years, depending on the, yeah. depending on the, the, the weather, uh, what, what happens then? Oh, <laughs> is it continue the work, I, I continue the cooperish work. Yeah, so it starts, the hard work starts. Where, where, where the stave is totally dry with yeah. 12 degrees of humidity, yep. we start acylicium one per one the staves. Right. Okay. The good quality we made the 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 state the size of the state so she, you get the shape yeah. yes and then immediately go to the fire yeah in the fire with temperature and water yeah natural fire no possible to use uh, petrol no or gas, gas yeah. nothing so we've uh, cut the trees down we've made staves and planks out of them yeah. and we've shaped them into you know they're, they're straight, the straight. But, but how do you bend them into the shape of a cask yes this is the more more difficult work in the cooperage yeah uh, we work with spanish oak big size of cask 500 liters yeah and and the thickness is 40 millimeters wow for that for that we need time very quiet with fire and water. Yeah. The process is only fire and water and very quiet. When the timber, the oak, yeah. take the temperature, start to bend, close, yeah, to bend, making, very, malleable. very slow. This is a, a process for expert cookers. Uh, and, and how long does it spend on the fire in total? In the total, uh, to warm the yeah. oak first, 30 minutes. Minutes, yeah. And to blend the stays, yeah. seven minutes, seven and a half. Gee, Continue with humidity and temperature, humidity, okay. water, yeah. and, and, fire. Until water we, and fire. Until we can and close it. In. Very slow, very slow blend. The and, then, and then once you have that wonderful shape, yes. then it's about putting the ends on it because yes. you have a, <laughs> a hole. Yes, yes, yes. So, so how, how does that work? Do we do we have to open up again? And, Never one step I blend. Yeah. Never, never in his life, it's possible. Uh, right. All right. To go back straight again. Yeah. Never. Uh, the, the 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 oak, when you, with Agesper, Agesper, yeah. blend. All his life continue with the same size. So it's it's the it's the it's the nice shape. Never. And then some, you. Some. Uh, it's uh, the similar, similar when building the boats. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. Yes, it's very A similar. Absolutely. So you're, you're creating that shape yes. so you can roll the casks. The Otherwise, same. if they're flat, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, they're, not, yeah. they're not going anywhere. <laughs> um, yeah. And then it's about putting the ends on. And then yes. eventually, eventually you get something like this, yes. which is almost ready to go. Yeah. And then it's about making it look nice. Now you have to sand that back yes, and make yes. it all nice and pretty. Then the process is we put the ends totally in Spanish oak, yeah. and the the the, the cax is a very hermetic, hermetic. Yeah. Uh, we don't need any laws, uh, the the whiskey yeah. or or wine, Absolutely. and it's very hermetic. Yeah. Very hermetic, and and the process is very. Uh, is, is but long time. It takes a lot, long, a lot of craftsmanship long, and yes, traditional. Absolutely. Very difficult. Very difficult. But. The final, the final is a very nice and high quality product. So the time it takes to make one cask from the moment you cut the tree down to drying it, to making it on the fire, to building it and then shipping it to Scotland or Orkney for the Highland, yeah. Highland distillery, how long would that take, roughly? It's, uh, approximately, it's a big process. Yeah. The, pro the work started in the north, in the forest. Approximately in the north, between I cut the tree, made the stave, tried the stave, two years. Yeah. Then in Spain, to dry, to final dry the stave, yeah. and another year more. I built in the cags, yeah. built in the cags, and put in the, in the cellars of Jerez with Oloroso dry. Yeah. Because the cags, our cags is sherry, yeah. Spanish yeah. oak with sherry. After two years more with wine, the, the cask coming to the 
to yeah. the Cooperage, yeah. we repair, testing, and send to Scotland. The total process approximately six years. But Big what, time, Lord time. Most um, uh, people who are new to whiskey believe that casks just appear. <laughs> yeah. That you just buy them off of a shelf and you go, no, no, no. The way that we do it is with you in partnership with you, mm. so you understand that we look after the tree and working it right the way through, so we guarantee the quality, quality yes. casks every single time. But I, I think I think we, we need to do a difference. The casks used for Highland Park and for the Grove Bedrington use a very high quality of casks. Yes. There are another quality of casks today in the market. Yeah. Oh, no, sure. But the top of the, of the, of the quality is the sherry casks. Yeah. And the process is more expensive, more long, but I think the result you see in the whiskey. That's it, absolutely. You're fantastic, Highland Park. Thank you very much.